Today we're going to be talking about some of the active trades that I currently have open. First is the Solana Long and then we'll talk about the Rune Short. So what I'll be able to do is just go into a little more detail than what I usually would on Twitter or Telegram. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So before we get into the trades that I just mentioned, I firstly want to take a quick look at Bitcoin and the reason for this is because some people might be thinking it's quite odd that I've got a long and a short open at the same time, um, despite Bitcoin being the market leader and a lot of the time altcoins follow what Bitcoin does, just like what we've seen yesterday. So I just want to quickly discuss Bitcoin and then later on in the video, I'll talk about why I'm also um, playing a short at the moment as well. So as we can see here, price action yesterday has been basically um, eaten back up. We've seen, a, I think it was around a 4% dip to just under 25K and we're basically back to where it all began yesterday, this time yesterday. In the process though, we've managed to sweep pretty much every low that we've made in the past month or so. So even you know people who had stops at this low, this low, this low, they're all, they've all basically been run now. So I think there is potential room for upside here now, even if it is just to 26.5K, 27K maybe. I mean, this whole move here was based on the ETF news, so I don't want to kind of look at that too closely, but I'm really looking at a relief bounce now to around 26.5K. Now that's why I have a Solana long open, which we'll go into now. But then, like I said, at the end of the video, I'll just discuss more about the room short because a lot of it has to do with different time frames. So before we look at the Solana chart, I'm going to talk about a couple of the things that actually got me interested in a Sol Long in the first place. So firstly, I just closed a short, so that was its support. I'm obviously looking for a reaction at that level. But then also we're looking at the fundamentals, the news here around FTX and how they have so much Solana to dump on the open market. Now, this is a article from Cointelegraph and if we actually scroll down and look into it and actually look at the details, we see that they quote some tweets here from people um, such as FTX is about to dump $680 million worth of Sol. Now, if you read more about the article and see what Cointelegraph have covered and actually look at the facts, you'll know that stuff like that is just not true. Firstly, you've got the fact that they haven't got $680 million worth of Sol there. That's $680 million worth of uh, assets on the Solana chain, which includes a lot of assets like wrapped Bitcoin. And that's something that is stated in this article here. And then you've also got the fact that they're not just gonna dump it all in one hit on the open market. Um, these kinds of processes take a lot of time, they sell in smaller amounts and it does have as minimal impact on the market as it possibly can because you know they understand, the liquidators understand the uh, implications that it can have just market dumping everything right. So it's nowhere near as severe as people make out but this is the kind of FUD that causes people to call for $5 uh, sol on Twitter by tomorrow. You know it's not going to happen and this is again why I just get more confidence in building up along because what people typically think will happen isn't always you know the outcome the most obvious outcome doesn't always play out so so this is actually a really simple trade when we break it down let me just talk a little bit about why I took the trade as well as the news that I've just discussed in the last part of the video so we've hit a level of support here at around 1740 I didn't catch the bottom but we were close enough I was happy to kind of ape a market bid there just because I felt like we wasn't actually going to go much lower on the day and we didn't we've now got the lows as an invalidation level because if we break lower than this then that's not a typical good sign for the market and the idea will typically be wrong so very clear invalidation level here uh, just below and then we want to run it up to where we've got the first level of resistance again like I've mentioned in many videos just playing things level to level so now I'm looking for a relief bounce up to around 1940 now to be honest I could imagine that we might even go a bit higher than that maybe run the stops for the people who have gone short there stop them out and then continue that projection if Q4 is to continue being bearish but this is all way into the future we play the price action as it comes but I'm not going to TP up here because you know I'm, that's just being greedy. I don't need to catch the top to sell. If we move into this level of resistance, I'm more than happy taking my profit and waiting for the next trade to play out. So it is a very simple trade. And along with the confluence with Bitcoin, like I mentioned earlier, I'm looking for 26.5K. So if we see that, there's a good chance Sol will rise with it. 
TP, get out of there and wait for the next trade to play out. So this is where we talk about the conflict between having a short open and a long at the same time. Now, a lot of it does come down to time frames. Now, as I mentioned with Solana, I'm looking for a bounce up to the most recent level of support, be tested as resistance and then potentially make another leg down. Bitcoin, the same again, 26.5K, and then we just play it from there. So if we did bounce on Rune and, and the whole market, then I'm looking at us coming back into this level at around 157, 160. Now, as long as this level, the red level here, isn't reclaimed at 161, if we see something like this, then my idea is wrong, and I think Rune would probably go higher. But until we get back above there, the structure of this trade remains the same, and I still lean bearish whilst below that level. So although, yeah, I mean, you know, yesterday I was in really nice profits, but that isn't my target. My target's down here at around 138. This is more of a a swing trade per se so as long as we are below this level my theory that the market structure is bearish isn't invalidated so that's pretty much why i'm looking to keep this open and also as well it's a hedge against my overexposure right i've got a so long open i've got spot um crypto as well so if the market goes up great this is the only short exposure that i currently have so it also serves as a hedge at the same time but now i'll talk a little bit more about the trade uh, in some more detail. So now we'll talk about the trade itself and in last week's video I actually put this plan into place um, it hadn't evolved at that point but I was just basically telling everybody what I was looking for and now that it's actually coming to life uh, I'm just gonna keep updating this trade as it goes. Uh, if you aren't already following on Twitter or in the telegram group please do go and check them out the links will be in the description because there I'll be able to uh, share a little bit more info and keep people up to date in real time. So after the deviation came along that we was looking for above these highs here, we finally seen a breakdown. I managed to get an average entry of around 158. And then what I was looking for was a return to support here at 138. I mean, we talked about these levels lower down, but to be honest, I'd rather TP there, wait for a breakdown, something like this and then look for a re-entry on the flip and go down and play it level by level, as mentioned time and time again. So in terms of what we've got here in between these two levels, uh, the trade that I'm looking for now is, I mean, we've seen a bounce here. Obviously, we've discussed Bitcoin yesterday. We've seen a bounce. It happens to be on Room's trend line, a little bit of deviation below. Now, what I'm actually looking for is for price to stay below the invalidation level still. I've not moved my stop or anything like that. Um, so I'm happy just seeing what happens here as price moves back towards around the 154, 155 area and we go from there. Otherwise, you know, I'm expecting to see something like that maybe as Bitcoin bounces. Then we test this trend line again and I'll just move that line there to make it a little bit clear. This is the old plan that we discussed last week, so not really needed at this point. So then what I'll look for now is something like this. So like I said, Bitcoin continues to move up. This pushes here into around 155 and then we go again on this level. We uh, lose a level and then finally break down and move back to around 138. So that's pretty much what I'm looking for in a nutshell. Obviously, it's gonna take a little bit more time to play out, especially now that we're seeing potential strength or a potential short-term reversal, at least on Bitcoin. But yeah, I think this trade is still very much valid and it's just about being patient. So that is all for today's video. Hopefully sharing these trades in real time is useful for you. If you do want to see more frequent updates again in real time, uh, you're better off looking on Twitter and Telegram just because I don't do YouTube videos every day. So I'll make sure that you don't miss anything there. As I mentioned, links will be in the description. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Trade safe and I'll speak to you in the next one.